we shall overcome today. The group's primary objective is to fight against unwholesome activities of land grabbers in the state and ensure perpetrators are brought to book. The group, however, came to limelight after its protest, which created an avenue for those oppressed by some community leaders to ask for their rights through petitions against those who forcefully took their land. The coordinator concerned citizens of Edo State, Kelly Omoka, who said they were embarrassed by the police during a recent protest and demand an apology. He said the group would not relent until they end the activities of land grabbers in the state. In his remark, the secretary of the group, Esosa Iwe, said the group is going beyond rhetorics to ensure the acts of unscrupulous elements in different communities are addressed. We to condemn in very strong terms the action of the police deployed to the museum ground on the day of our mass movement. On citing them at the early hour of the day, we had joy in our heart only for them to lock us up at the museum gate, preventing the speaker of the house and hundreds of peaceful protesters for carrying out the legitimate activities. We believe that the Commissioner of Police at those state command Philip Ubadu cannot be unaware of this of this unpopular development. We therefore issue 48 hours ultimatum to come up publicly to apologize to a those state citizen. There's already a PPP law has amended in 2021. And we believe that once this law is fully applied, these persons will be brought to, to book. Other leaders of the group who include Blessing Aro, Kola Edokbayi, and Osaze Stanley said the fight against land grabbing in the state is total and called on the state governor to reconstitute the committee saddled with the responsibility to tackle the negative trend. We felt the need that it was important for us to address the embarrassment or the harassment that we got from the Commissioner of Police on August 8th, the day we led the protest against land grabbing. A lot of people have been submitting petitions to us, and we have transmitted the, the petitions to the authority, to the Edo State Art of Assembly, to the Governor of Edo State, and even to the Commissioner of Police. Everyone is fighting to ensure that the issue relating to land grabbing becomes a thing of the past. And that is why we all collectively made it a point of duty to be part and parcel of the process. A lady, Joyce AJ, whose land was illegally seized by land grabbers in Ubekum community, appealed to the group to help her reclaim her land. The concerned citizens of Edo said they have received over 10,000 petitions and we organize a symposium soon on the activities of land grabbers. At the time of this report, the Edo State Police Command is yet to comment on the issue. A Fosa Wangwe reporting.